What's up, everybody? This is Crazy Giga123 here, and uh, today we'll be reviewing. Let me get it real quickly. I don't know where I put it. I forgot where I put it. Dang. I don't know. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, I'm back, guys. So today we're going to be reviewing the Hammond Collection by Lothosaurus, uh, Jurassic World. Or Jurassic Park Hammond and Collection by Lophosaurus. And here it is. All the box. Here's like Hammond inside like an amber. Pretty cool. And this is my actually my third Hammond collection. Which will be comparing it with my other two Hammond collections. Later in the video. But here it is. And it has a little caption or story down here. I'm going to read it right now. So... At first appearing unamusing and curious, the Dilophosaurus is severely misjudged by Dennis Nedry and ends up burrowing his nerfiest plot to escape after showing a little interest in plain text. So, sorry guys, I don't really know how to pronounce some of the words in there, but here it is. Uh pretty cool it's really cool actually and this is uh probably one of my favorite hammond collections well maybe i don't i don't know uh i'm gonna take it out the box right now so got my scissors there's some tape on here so i'm gonna try to cut it open it's kind of hard to cut open they just Knocked it down. Oh dang, bro! Why the tape is so freaking loud? Okay, I have an idea. I'm just gonna put it. Yeah, now I gotta do the other side. Oh my gosh, it's hard to open, even with scissors, bro. Like, what the heck, man? What the heck? Do they really have to put tape for toys? This is kind of a collector's toy, I would say. But, okay, here it is. I'm unboxing it right now. Whoa, look at that box art right here, the side. There it shows the Dilophosaurus, Jurassic Park. By the way, I just picked this up from Target. The Target I have near me in Smyrna. And, whoa, here it is, out the box, let me take it all out, oh, oh. okay, has some of these little ties, but here it is, outside the box, and, let's talk about it, after I take it out the box, oh, I'm trying not to scratch, the figure but i have to kind of touch the figure with the scissors because there's no other way to open it actually i don't think i need the scissors i can just pull the hand out yeah. and i think that's the only thing and yeah here it is i don't have the tail on right now but whoa this thing's actually pretty cool no cap but if you are wondering uh actually here it is it opens the mouth but if you are wondering what this is we'll get to that in the video but let's assemble the dilophosaurus put its tail on so i think i know what this is so yes i think i do know what this is and here's the tail. It does have some bendy wires in it. And try not to screw this up. Trying to not screw this up. Dang, which way do you put it in? Oh, hi.
Okay, so here it is. The Dilophosaurus. Sorry guys, you might not be able to see so well because of the light. Here, I'm going to try to block the light. If Okay, but here it is, fully assembled, it has bendy wire in the tail, and here it is, it does have articulation in the neck, see, one, two, two joints in art articulation in the neck, and here is, uh, if you're wondering, the mouth does open, here it is, does open, and it does close. And so, if you guys are still wondering what, what, where'd it go? Okay, I'm gonna try to record the video here. I'm trying to record it where there's not, where the light isn't, like, just going. Is there no place I can record it when there's no light? There's no light. Okay. So apparently, we're going to have to record the video like this, I guess. Sorry if you can't really see that well with the light, but... Gosh, the bugs did. Oh, bad idea recording on the bed. Oh, Hold up, guys. Hold up. I'm trying to find a good spot to record the video where you guys can actually see. Well, without the light blinding you guys, this is where I normally record. But let me just continue. And voila, here we are. This better, guys? Yeah. So here it is, the Dilophosaurus. It's one of my favorite figures. But so if you're wondering what this, what this thing is, this you can actually just take this off you're supposed to be able to take this off i think i think you're supposed to take this off and you can take yeah you can take the frill off and put this on instead you can put this on Sorry, guys. But anyway, you can put this on. I'm not sure. I think it's supposed to go this way. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But you're supposed to put it on the neck. That's all I know. Well, I don't know if you're putting it down here. Or, like, on top of the neck. And if you're wondering what that sound is, it's my Alexa. And I have a ring doorbell. So, it's and it's connected. So, that's what the noise is. If you're wondering. But, it's kind of dumb. Well, not dumb, but I'm saying, like, you got Mattel. You didn't really need to add this. Because... You can just take it off, and it looks like this. It'll look like this. But, I know, I guess it's Hammond Collection, so they have to go all out. So, I guess they added this little piece. And today, I went to Target and picked this up. And, uh, there are some pretty cool figures, even the Hammond Collection Ellie Sattler. I might get that next, or just a different toy. And review that for my next video, maybe. But, here it is. I don't know if I might use this that often. But, uh, yeah. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like, I would say 9 or 10 points of articulation. Not so sure. But, yeah, it's a pretty good figure, but now we can compare it to my other Hammond Collections, which this is the Gallimimus, Hammond Collection Gallimimus, 
It opens and closes the mouth. You can move the head, move the neck up and down. Same thing, bendy tail, bendy wire. And I want to see, is it the same size? I think that Lophosaurus is a bit smaller. Not so sure. I think that Lophosaurus is a bit actually smaller because, uh, like, because of, you know, Gallimimus has a long neck. It might be pretty taller, the Gallimimus, than Dilophosaurus. But, okay, so, yep, I'm right there. Tail to tail, leg to leg, and it should be taller. Yeah. Well, they're the same size body, same size body, just longer neck for the Gallimimus. And, uh, yeah, and here is my other Hammond collection, the Hammond collection Ceratosaurus, same as the moth, bendy tail, and some articulation in the neck, articulation in the mouth, some articulation in the arms, you can go out and in, go up and down, same with the legs, they can go up and down, independently, the, the legs can move, and articulation in the foot and in the legs they can move like independently and yeah so oh uh, yeah so this is i like the color scheme it kind of matches how it looked like in the movie i'm gonna put back the frill back on i think it's called the frill of the thing i don't know what this is called. Could be. Now you now you just can't put it back on. I think it's supposed to go on the head. Sorry guys. Yeah, this should be how it goes. Yep, it should be going on the head, I believe, and yeah, and a little quick review on the Dilophosaurus, articulation in the legs, and the foot, like the Gallimimus, and this other leg right here, it's kind of hard to articulate, kind of Stiff, but it still articulates. And yeah, here it is. The Dilophosaurus. And one last look at it. Here it is, head first. Even with the frill on, it still moves just fine. By the way. So, yeah. And I don't know. Do you guys think they should have added some printing behind it? You guys think they should have? I don't know. Should they have? I saw in the movie it had printing on, or not printing, but colors here and colors on the other side. I don't know. But I like that color scheme where, like, the red, yellow, and, like, the dark green, like the matte green. I like how it is like all oh, just matte green and I like this color scheme. Yeah, so what do you guys think? I think like all these him collection figures that I have, I do not have a problem with any of them. You guys should go buy them. Um there they should be in stores, but they are really really cool. Really cool. Like these are really cool him collection figures. I love them. They're the best. They're like the best him. They're the best figures Mattel has made of these dinosaurs. They have a lot of articulation. Wide range of articulation. And yeah. So 
little quick review over the Dilophosaurus and some of my other mammal collections. So yeah, if you so yeah, please like and subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.